Hi, this is Patrick with an update on the XY Oscilloscope Pong project. Basically, all you need for this project is an Arduino, a dual output DAC, and an oscilloscope that has XY capabilities as well. If you would like to draw images faster, you can use a Teensy instead of an Arduino. The DAC outputs analog voltage to the X and Y input of the scope, which allows you to move the electron beam to any position on the screen. I defined a coordinate system to help me visualize the screen space when working on the code. Once that was completed, I created a calibration grid to help align the image when the oscilloscope is first powered on. Creating this project was quite a lot of fun. Honestly, the majority of the difficulties I had were not related to the hardware or drawing on the screen. Most of the problems I had were making the Pong game behave as it should. To sum it up, most of the issues were related to the collision detection. Sometimes the ball would just phase through the wall, or the ball wouldn't hit the paddle. Once those issues were sorted out, I found the game was rather boring. To make it more interesting, I made it possible for the paddles to change the direction of the ball's movement. To detect the velocity of the paddle, the game checks the position of the paddle before and during the collision. With two captured position values and a fixed time period, the velocity of the paddle can be calculated. Once the velocity is known, it is scaled down to appropriately affect the ball's motion. Something else you might notice is that the screen will wobble. The wobbling intensity actually depends on how much you are drawing on the screen. For example, if you are drawing two ones in the scoreboard, the frame will take less time to draw compared to two eights on the screen. You probably won't notice the difference in frame rate, but you will notice the wobbling. The wobbling comes from the line noise that comes into the oscilloscope. Basically, when we draw a frame, we are sampling the noise that is on the oscilloscope's deflection coils. When our frame rate approaches the noise's frequency, or a factor of the noise's frequency, the wobbling will decrease. So far, I've managed to fix this issue when drawing static frames, but not with dynamic frames. I only paid $20 for this, so I can't really complain. Here's an example of a still image. I added a delay that is dependent on the analog value of a potentiometer in order to adjust the frame rate in real time. Thanks to the camera shutter, we can see some darkened horizontal bars on the screen. When I adjust the delay to eliminate the wobbles, the black bars stand still. This relates to the aliasing points that I made earlier in the video. I'd recommend looking up some more dedicated videos on aliasing if you're more curious about how that works. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching the whole video. I will likely have an update on how I displayed those still images later on. Currently I'm just stuck working on a lot of school stuff, so it might be a bit before I get that second video out.